rear sander in the starting gate. I'd say I realized that skiing was my favorite thing around like age 12. Just started to progress a little quicker than my friends and found the confidence of the ski hill that I didn't really have anywhere else. Okay, it's about 10 below. Sander's been out there and I can't get in. Say hi, Sander. As a child, I always wanted to be a professional park skier. And my friends and some family would say, you know, you got to grow up in Park City, Utah, if you want to, if you want to become that. And I didn't ever listen to him. I'm with a bunch of freaks here, and it's, it's really freaking me out. We don't have gun dogs in My dad was like my best friend and biggest confidant with with skiing, especially. He saw me skiing. We'd ski together all the time, and. He was a big supporter of, of following my dreams. Raising new champion from Income Pebble Creek, Idaho. Okay. Comes. Ow. They say that comparison is the death of joy, and I totally agree with that. I got down to the University of Utah in Salt Lake City for college, and I started skiing at Park City and seeing kids that were quite a bit younger than me willing to do things that I wasn't willing to do. So I was like, you know what, maybe I'll just take the college route and see where this goes. It was funny when I stopped trying so hard to be a park skier and just started skiing my own way. That's when things started going the right way for me. freestyle skier, I guess, in like more of like a rap sense of like freestyling it. Um, going down the hill, whatever I see, I've got a pretty low attention span going down the hill. So it's, oh, it's over there, over there, over there, over there. Jump off that and do something off that. Yeah, it's total freedom. So my first taste of success as a skier, um, I made some GoPro videos and Cody Townsend ended up sharing them with Scott Gaffney of MSP Films. And they ended up coming out to Snowbird to shoot a resort segment. Things went well there and we made some plans to, to film the game with them the next year. They found me some good support through some bigger sponsors and I thought that I was well on my way. It was a wild winter because in January I became a professional skier and then in May my father ended up passing away of a heart attack. thought it was okay and I went on that Golden Alpine Holidays trip with MSP the next winter having all these expectations of big tricks and doing these things that I've always dreamed of and I got there and I ended up just completely falling down everything and stuff that I was trying that I thought would be easy was not. Um, and emotionally and mentally, I was in a completely lost and broken spot. I would just go into the trees and scream, scream after falling. Ever since then, I feel like I kind of dropped the ball with that experience. And that's been like a, a big, topic of self-degradation um, and it's funny because yeah you're accomplishing your dreams and you're doing these things but it, it didn't go that smoothly for me and yeah the last kind of six years have been kind of clawing at that and trying to to find what I thought was success and then realizing that you just need to play your own game. So after finishing college in Salt Lake City at the University of Utah, I stuck around for another year or two. 
I chose to move home to Idaho. I saw it as a way to get my head back on. I was still in a pretty dark spot after my father's passing and, and moving home to Idaho was a good way for me to, to do that with the support of my family and friends. I would say with the changes in my life I've made to live more simply, more in harmony with the environment, and more in harmony with my own body, I'm finding a lot more happiness in life. The last time I actually saw my father, I was saying goodbye to drive to Tahoe to ski with Tanner Hall. And so that was that was the last time, like, adios, I'm gonna go do my thing and you know, I'll see you soon. To share that with my dad was huge. We grew up watching the ESPN, you know, the super pipe battles and slope style and stuff, and my dad knew who Tanner Hall was and knew how cool that was for me. I often try to think of what my father would tell me when I'm having troubles or looking at different potential roads to go down in life. And uh, I think living more simply and following my passions and speaking up for things that I'm passionate about are things that he would be proud of me for. Mm -hmm.